Hello, I am Sajish Gupta working as a Java trainer in Narasha Technologies. Welcome to Java 8 video series. Now, in this video, we will see generic functional interface. Okay. So, a lambda expression, okay, a lambda expression cannot be a generic, a lambda expression cannot be a generic, okay. but uh, a functional interface a functional interface can be generic because a lambda expression is associated with a functional interface. So, you cannot write a lambda expression as a generic, but you can write a functional interface as a generic. Okay. So, a functional interface which is associated with lambda expression can be what? Generic. So, where uh, generics are parameterized types okay, and uh, and how you write a generic interface? Generally, you can write interface. So, interface name. So, interface, interface name, and it is parameterized with the type. And this type can be used inside what interface? Okay. For example, I write a method. So, this method is having written type. Okay. So, written type, and having a method name. So, written type method name. Uh, if it is having parameters, even I can write this parameters of type. So, functional interface is a single abstract method interface and this method can be a generic, right. So, functional I am using one annotation called here functional interface. Now, we will see how to uh, practically do this. Now, what this exactly provide is generic, generic functional interface allows you to write a functional interface which operate on different data types. For example, if I write a generic functional interface with a method having integer type, it operates only on integer. If I write a generic functional interface with a string, then it operates only on string. I want to write a generic functional interface that can operate on any data types. Means, I want to write a lambda expression uh, whose implementation can be of any type rather than one type, it can be of any type. In that case, I can go for a generic functional interface. For example, okay, we will try to see the example on this. Uh, for example, I am writing a functional interface. So, at the rate functional interface, okay, I just write one interface. So, there is an interface called uh, some A. A is an interface and this is parameterized with a type. Now, this is a generic interface and it is a functional interface, generic functional interface. So, it is having only one method. The return type of this method is t and it is having one method called compute. Okay, assume that it is having one method called compute and compute is a method and this method receives one parameter of t type. I just write t some o. Now, this is a generic functional interface and I am implementing this generic functional interface as a lambda expression. It means that lambda expression can be written, I mean compute method can written any type or it can compute a different types of data. For example, for example, I am writing a lambda expression like this. For example, a a 1, A A 1, now this is parameterized, A is parameterized with the type. I just write the type as a integer. So, generic operates on reference types. Now, A integer means here, um, now this functional interface receive the value of integer type. Now, here I take uh, one parameter called n. So, here n is a variable of which type now? integer type. Okay. So, I just put uh, lambda operator that is hyphen and uh, greater than. Now, what I am doing is I am just uh, 
I am just finding whether this uh, number is a prime number or not. Okay, right now this is functional interface and this is a generic functional interface. I am implementing this interface as a lambda expression. Now, where I am saying a, a integer, integer uh, a 1 equal to now this value, I mean this lambda expression receive one number. Okay, now, n is a variable of which type? Integer type and I am writing a generic interface implementation of integer type. So, where I want to find the factorial of a given number. So, where I want to find the factorial of a given number. So, I just write here uh, fact equal to, okay, I just write here fact equal to 1 and what I am doing is I am trying to say for integer i is 1, for integer i is 1 and i is less than or equal to n and I just write here i plus plus. Okay, and after that I am saying fact, okay, after that what I am saying is I am saying fact, okay, fact equal to fact into, fact equal to fact into i. Then here fact is a variable of type integer and what I am doing here is I am trying to return factorial by saying return fact. Now, this is a value of factorial right. Now, this is a lambda expression, this is a lambda expression which is a implementation of integer type. Suppose whenever I find, whenever I want to find out the factorial I just write integer f equal to I will say a 1 dot a 1 dot I just call the method called compute. Now, you can see compute is having which type here integer type. So, this is integer implementation I just given 5 and after that I try to display the factorial of this number by saying out dot print the len f. Now, this print the factorial of a number right. So, I just run this and see the output what exactly it is. So, we will the, we'll take this name as some generic interface because A is already defined in this. So, I take this as generic interface, okay, generic interface. Okay. So, I just run this. Now, when I run this, so I get the factorial of 5. So, I have taken up to less than or equal to n and here you can see the value. So, 120, right. Now, this is a factorial of what? 5. Okay. So, this is the implementation of which type? Integer type. Then what I can do is I can take the same interface, okay, generic interface, again I am writing here generic interface of type string. Now, this is the implementation of which type? String type. Now, this will receive one string, okay, this will receive one string and what I want to do is I want to reverse the string. I just take here reverse, okay, reverse equal to initially I have taken some space, okay, I just take reverse string. Now, reverse is a variable of type string, reverse is a variable of type string. Now, this is the implementation of string type. Now, what I am doing is I am trying to say for integer i is 1, uh, i is 0 and uh, integer i is, I just take, okay, length s dot length s dot length s dot length minus 1 length minus 1 and i is greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus. So, then after that I am saying reverse ok reverse reverse equal to reverse reverse plus str dot s dot character at now character at i means I start reading characters from right to left. Now, this is a generic 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 implementation which is of type I just write here written okay written reverse string written reverse string. Now, this is a string initially is a space right. So, it means generic generic functional interface having different implementations on different data types. Suppose, if I write a interface with a specific type, 
then it work only on specific implementation types. But here once you write a generic functional interface, it can operate on different types. Okay. So, here what I am doing is I am trying to write string r equal to okay, string r equal to I just write uh, a 2 dot a 2 dot compute. Okay, I just send uh, Java as a string and after that I try to display what r value. So, how dot print ln r. Okay. Now, this is a generic functional interface okay, having different implementations now a, b, a and j. So, it means when I write when I write an interface the interface is not written with a specific type the interface is written with what generic type. So, that this interface can have different implementations different implementations on different data types. Now, that is the advantage of using generic interface. So, generic functional interface. Okay. So, you can write a functional interface with a specific type, you can write a functional interface with what generic type. If you write a functional interface with a specific type, you, you should provide the implementation on the same types, but if you write with a generic, it can have different implementations on different data types. I hope you understood. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video. For more videos, watch Narayshati channel. Thank you. Thank you.